I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I promise to do my best to treat everyone fairly. I promise to do my best to be kind to everyone, even if they are not like me. If I see someone being hurt or bullied, I will tell a teacher. Everyone should be able to feel safe and happy in school. I want our school to be no place for hate. Did you know a portrait is an artistic representation of a person? It could be a photograph, a painting, a sculpture, or made of any type of media. Hello, All Stars. I'm Miss Cresswell, for those of you that don't know me yet. And in the art room, we've been talking about how do we want to feel during our art time? What do you want to improve on or get better at as an artist this year? And how are we going to support each other or help each other to meet those needs of how we want to feel and what we want to get better at? So let's take a look at what some of our students said. For how do we want to feel during art time, Rita said, during art time, I want to feel excited to get to create and design art. And then we had people said they want to feel happy, good, motivated and inspired and creative. And some people want to feel relaxed and calm when they come to art time and comfortable. And then when we talked about what we want to get better at, what we want to improve on, a lot of students want to get better at drawing. Evelyn says she wants to practice at drawing more. Some people want to get better at drawing eyes on faces. Who else? Jasmine Saunders said she wants to get better at drawing chibis. I don't know what that is, but she'll tell me more about it. So when we think about how we want to feel and what we want to improve on, we have to think about how are we going to help each other and support each other to meet those needs. And we had a lot of great ideas for how to do that. Friends said that they would give each other encouragement, right? When someone's feeling frustrated or they're not doing, feeling like they're not doing a good job, they would tell them something that they're doing well. And then we also talked about focusing and staying quiet so that people could get their artwork done during class. So anywhere you are in the school, it helps to think about how do you want to feel together when you're there? What do you want to get better at? And how are we going to help each other to make that happen? Thanks. Hey All Stars, stay tuned after the news for the latest episode of The Adventures of Twinkle. Peace Episode 9 respecting ourselves. It's a new school year and Twinkle is so excited to be back in person with so many friends. Twinkle has learned to respect surroundings and others, but what about respecting ourselves? At dismissal, Twinkle will quickly and quietly gather items to leave once the board says it's Twinkle's turn to go home. 
Twinkle knows being quick and quiet helps out with the end of the day. This is respecting self at dismissal. Twinkle knows respect makes school a better place. What are more ways we can respect ourselves at school?